In this video, we'll use a DAS 3D project to show you how to upgrade from the old dollars mocap plugin in Unreal Engine. We will also show you how to use the latest facial capture from dollars mocap. We need to download the main program of dollars mocap from the website, as well as the latest dollars mocap plugin. Please note the dollars mocap plugin for Unreal Engine no longer distinguishes between engine versions now. These are the files we have, the dollars mocap main program, a DAS 3D project, and the latest Unreal Engine plugin. Let's start with the first step, replacing the old plugin in the project with the latest one. Before proceeding with this step, we highly recommend backing up your project. Copy the dollars directory from the new plugin and paste it into the content directory of your project, overwriting the existing dollars directory. After the overwrite, launch the project to verify that motion capture is functioning correctly. With this version of the plugin, we have improved the responsiveness of the motions. You can see the differences before and after the modifications in the video. Now let's have a look of the facial capture in dollars mocap. You can click this button to turn facial capture on or off. Before starting facial capture, we recommend doing a calibration. Relax your face and look straight ahead during calibration. After the calibration is complete, you can start facial capture. You can adjust the strength of facial capture expressions and choose a dominant eye here. There are more detailed instructions about these on the dollars mocap website. Next, we proceed with the third step, confirming the facial expressions for the model. Here, you can see the facial expressions exported from DAS. After confirming that the facial expressions are correctly exported, we can open the animation blueprint for the model and add the dollars mocap facial capture. These are the live link nodes, let's disconnect them first. Then, we will drag in a dollars a mocap actor, left click to get a connection, and select break, this will reveal a face data structure. Let's left click and break again, we will get a node containing the facial capture data now. After that, we right-click on the graph and create a Modify Curve node. In the Add Curve Pin option of this node, we can see all the expressions contained in the mesh. Our goal is to add the desired facial capture expressions to this node and connect them with our facial capture data, so that our facial capture data can drive the corresponding morph targets. We'll start by connecting two of them. and then hook up this code to apply additive. When we run the project, we can see the left eye already moving. Now, let's add the other morph targets as well. Note that the Modify Curve node has a Mode option, please keep it set to Blend. The Tongue Out here can be ignored.
After confirming that all expressions correspond one by one, let's take a look at the results. If your project does not use the 1 Euro Filter Unreal plugin in other parts, you can remove it from the plugin's directory. After deletion, launch the project to confirm that both motion capture and facial capture are working correctly, and our upgrade is complete. Let's see the final result in action.